Welcome everybody here from St. John's College High School in Washington, D.C. It's Flow Football's coverage of a big one here today. It's St. John's taking on DeMatha, the Cadets against the Stags. I'm Scott Galotti along with my broadcast partner, Brandon Dowdy. And Brandon, I'll tell you what, we got a good one in store here on a beautiful afternoon in D.C. You know we do. Welcome everybody here to the John A. Wilson Complex on the campus of New Mexico Highlands University in beautiful and historic Las Vegas, New Mexico. It is Youth Day, the opener for both the men's and women's basketball teams here at New Mexico Highlands. It is New Mexico Highlands taking on Northern New Mexico. The men's game goes first. And Steve Davis, you've been here for these in the past. It is a zoo in terms of the crowd. They made a lot of noise when the team came onto the court. It's going to be a lot of fun. You talk about energy. You're, it's like a playoff atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. you got two From Sanchez Family Stadium in beautiful and historic Las Vegas, New Mexico, New Mexico Highlands football is on the air today. New Mexico Highlands takes on Colorado Mesa on Senior Day for New Mexico Highlands. Scott Galetti along with Roman Romero here to bring you the action. New Mexico Highlands comes in 2-8, and 1-7 and seven in RMAC play. While Colorado Mesa, they are 5-5, five 4-4 and five, four and four in RMAC play. And last week, well, on paper, it looks like a horrible loss, 77-3 to three after a close loss two weeks ago, Roman. But it was to Colorado School of Mines, who, by the way, is number one in the country, and that's only the second time they put 70-plus on the board. And, and let me Welcome everybody here to West Mesa High School here in the Duke City of Albuquerque, New Mexico. It is girls basketball action, District 2 and 5A. It is the Farmington Scorpions taking on the host West Mesa Mustangs. Scott Colletti along with Doug Dorme. Glad to have you along here on Game Vision and Comcast 26. And Doug, I'll tell you what, we got a couple of contrasting teams, a couple of outstanding programs, but Farmington comes in 20 and 2. They are 5-1 and one in district, and West Mesa, they're 1-5 and five in district. Even though they're 1-5, and five, I think they're still going to make the state tournament because this, this is definitely the ACC of girls basketball.